Hey guys, what's up? Jimmy here with another Lots of Games video. Today actually I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm actually going to be doing a review on the Assassin's Creed Collector Series for Mega Bloks. Now, you see behind me all the time I've got a bunch of games and a lot of you guys out there might have um, game collections on the shelves and you want to add you know something a little extra to it. I'm going to be reviewing these collector sets. There's five of them that were sent to me uh, by Ubisoft and I want to thank them first of all for sending this to me to review for you guys and what I'm going to be actually going over to you for these five sets is included is first off I'm going to be talking about the Borgia Guard Pack also the Pirate Crew Pack the Cannon Strike Set Da Vinci's Flying Machine and finally, last but certainly not least, my personal favorite is the Fortress Attack, which is uh, pretty unbelievable and has a whole lot of functions. I'll, I will be going over that with you. Um, first of all, um, let me just talk about the pros and the cons for this set. Now, putting this together, um, I was really impressed with the instructions. They are very simple and very easy to use. So all the sets included, uh, most of them were around 100 pieces each to put together. Um, the Fortress Attack uh, set is over 300 pieces, but even the 300 pieces, it really only took me around an hour or so to put that one uh, together. And it has a lot of functions, which I will go over with you guys. I was impressed with the instructions again. Um, another thing I was really impressed was the fine level of detail of the characters. Uh, whether you're talking about the assassins uh, or the guards, you know, the assassins even had the hidden blades. Um, some of the assassins had the option where you could either have hair, uh, wear hair, or you could take the hair off and just put on uh, a hood. For the fortress attack, I really was impressed with the level of detail on the blocks in terms of there was almost like um, it wasn't just a straight up gray block or you know trying to be a gray brick it actually had like a a marble look to it which I thought was really really cool the characters uh, these whether it be the assassins or the guards uh, are very well detailed and the the movements or being able to move the different limbs and and joints and be able to have them sit or act like they're actually doing moves from the Assassin's Creed game was actually pretty impressive. I was really, really impressed with that. Now these are by Mega Blocks, and I, I do have to say, you know, growing up playing Legos as a kid, I noticed that, you know, with assembling these sets, the again the instructions are fantastic, but in terms of the quality of the blocks. They're definitely not Legos. The actual quality uh, in a lot, in several cases, in several of the cases of assembling these blocks was a little bit difficult to snap them into place. And it was something that I hadn't experienced in the past, say with like Lego. So I could definitely tell there's a difference in terms of the quality of the actual blocks when you're comparing Mega Blocks versus actual Legos. If you're a big fan of the Assassin's Creed Black Flag, the Pirate Crew Pack is very simple and basic. Uh, you have, of course, your pirate captain and pistol. And also I love the uh, treasure chest we can open up which has bones and uh, pieces of gold. That one's very simple, very basic. Um, the cannon strike I thought was really cool because you have um, your cannon but it's more than just that. You can actually load the cannon, pull back the switch and uh, fire your ammunition, which is really neat. And if you're looking for a serious battle without having to spend a whole lot of money, I suggest the Borgia uh, Strike Pack, which includes uh, several characters. Now, there's not a whole lot to that. You have a small area uh, to be able to have a, a couple characters at the top. The Borgia Strike Pack comes with several characters and a nice um, mini tower for your assassin to check things out with. Um, besides the fortress uh, attack, probably my second favorite is the Da Vinci flying machine. 
you've got the little hang glider, uh, which is really cool. You could have your assassin be on several areas, and the assassin actually can connect to this flying machine quite well. I was really actually impressed with uh, not only how well it looked, but how easy it was to put together. So my favorite out of, again, out of all of them, is the fortress attack. There is so much. There's posts for your assassins to swing on. There is There are multiple areas for your characters to stand on. Uh, on, on the sides, there's these posts where you can put your assassins on and make it look like they're actually wall climbing. Um, and again, the characters for this collector set, the movable um, joints are work very well with this. It actually looks like these assassins are climbing up walls, which is really, really nice. If you're a big fan of the series, um, we have here at the top of Fortress Attack uh, an area where assassins can stand to uh, synchronize the area. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have a little pile of hay for for the assassin to jump at the bottom, but right here probably the highlight for me is you've got uh, a load of bricks right here and down here you've got a switch and what you can do is, is you actually can have your assassin hold on to the switch and then the bricks can fall down as you're uh, kind of to simulate what you can find in the game is your assassin then can then evade enemies and swing up to the top so he can make a quick getaway. Overall guys this is actually a pretty good set if you can look past uh, you know, not being as good in terms of quality as as like Legos that I've been used to in the past. Uh, the price definitely is right, and it has a lot going for it. A great level uh, of design in terms of the appearance of the characters and the different structures that you're building. The instructions are very simple and intuitive, and all around, it's a definitely a great value. And if you are really into the Assassin's Creed series, and if you want something to put on your shelf or have you know, uh, right next to your desk. Uh, definitely something fun to have. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.